This next video clip looks at some of the basic examination procedures uh, related to lumbar side bending. Before we actually look at lumbar side bending, I want to discuss something with you called a lateral list, and in particular a varying lateral list. And varying means it's bigger one day, smaller the next day, it's off to the left one day, off to the right another day. So let's look at a left lateral list. Left lateral list sort of looks like this. The patient's shoulders are off to the left in relation to their pelvis. This is a left lateral list. And a lateral list is a potential indicator of discogenic instability where one vertebrae has slid or translated too far off to the side. And let's show everybody a right lateral list. Okay. So if your patient shows a left lateral list one day, right lateral list another day, that's a varying lateral list, and that is a clinical indicator of excessive lateral translation, which is an arthrokinematic component of side bending. Okay? But most importantly for us, and let me get you out of that position, most importantly for us, that's a sign that you may have a hypermobile or unstable lumbar motion segment. So the actual um, motion of side bending should look angular in nature. As you view upper lumbar, mid lumbar, lower lumbar, you should not see vertebrae translating to the side, both on the downswing of the motion and on the upswing of the motion. So then I want you to do a left side bend. I just want you to run your left hand right down the outside of your left leg and then come right back upward. And then please do that again. Look at the upper lumbar first. Then put your eyes on mid lumbar. And then bring your eyes down right to the base of the sacrum so you can see whether or not movement is recruited into the L5-S1 motion segment. Okay. If a patient is a little hesitant into moving into side bending, we can determine whether or not pain is limiting that motion through the application of a gentle overpressure test. So Hannah, I want you to go a little ways into left side bending so we can demonstrate for everybody what an overpressure is. So Hannah's not fully left side bending. It's clear she has not fully recruited movement all the way down into the L4 or L5 segment. A couple different grip options here. You could grip above the elbow and a light contact on the pelvis and just pull the arm down a little bit. If that causes discomfort for the patient, they can clarify. What was the character of the discomfort? How intense was it? And where exactly did they feel that discomfort? Another option would be just to bring your hand on the shoulder, a little light contact on the pelvis, just push the shoulder down just a little bit. Again, that's an overpressure too. It's more than one okay way to do that. But if your patient's not side bending and you don't feel like they're stiff, again, pain could be limiting that movement, and oftentimes that's when we want to clarify with an overpressure test. Okay? Right side bending is done the same way. We look for, and let's have you just do a couple repetitions of that, Hannah. Nice angular rocking of one vertebral body over its disc all the way from T12 to L1. We shouldn't see excessive translating both on the downswing and the upswing of the motion. If you see excessive lateral translation during active side bending, that is a visual indicator potentially of instability at one or more motion segments.